All right, it's going to be a sex and the city kind of summer because season two of the spinoff series and just like that is back. And so is the fabulous cast. Take a look. Tighter, baby. <coughs> it won't go any tighter. It has to. We've got to work on your upper body strength. Rock, please come help your sister. I won't be party to upholding the patriarchy and the heteronormative standards of beauty. I totally understand and applaud. But just for today, come help your sister. <laughs> that was, it was hilarious. I'm in. I'm already so, in. Kristen Davis, better known to her fans as, well, or known to her fans as Miss Charlotte York Goldenblatt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're so happy you're here. By the way, that Thank scene you. was awesome. It also tells kind of the story of where your character is. So what is, what is your yeah. character going through? What's yeah. going to happen? Well, the thing that's awesome about the <laughs> season is that, you know, for always, Charlotte has been about getting married yes. and having her yeah. children. That's been her dream, yeah. and she finally has it. And even though things aren't necessarily in, like, the picture-perfect mm -hmm. version that she expected, she has, you know, rolled with it and, and expanded to love them all, and now she realizes maybe she needs more. I feel like in real life, you're mirroring a lot of what women obviously are going through. And sometimes you do expect the perfect package. I mean, I think you and I both had kids later in life, me later than you, but we still, we, we still. Uh, we I, st I think I'm right there with you, Hoda. Well, <laughs> but but there, there's such joy yes. in, in the wait. Um, do you still, when you reflect on that, do you still find that? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, for me, there was no other way that yeah. it could have happened. You know, people sometimes say, like, oh, do you regret this or regret that? No, I, I don't have any yeah. regrets because I love my kids and I don't think I was ready. You know, yeah. I wasn't yeah. there in my head or my heart yet. One of the things that is so beautiful about you, and mm -hmm. we read this and marveled at it, is that you flew back and forth while you filmed this this version, this, uh, this season of yeah. Sex and the yeah, City. Yeah. Every single weekend to be with your kids. I did, I did. It wasn't the plan, necessarily. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, you know, maybe they could come to see yeah. me or maybe I could skip a weekend. But the five-year-old, he just, no, that was not... That was not going to be happening. <laughs> Good enough. So, you know, I, I would never say yes to a job where I was gone that long. Yeah. Unless it was this, this job. One. Yeah, I love totally. this job. Obviously, we've had this incredible experience mm -hmm. of working together for 25 years now. You know, knock on wood or whatever. It's like crazy. <laughs> Whatever's around. So, um, it, it, it was an unusual situation. Um, and I, it was hard, no, no lie. Yeah. But it's kind of a good problem to have. When we saw the picture of the four of you, Kim Cattrall involved, when people were saying that she was coming back for this season... Everyone went, everyone went crazy because it was like, the gang's back together. We're going to see some resolution to this whole, you know, story. Mm. And, <laughs> and is that the case or not the case? Um, oh, it's such a hard question, Hoda. Um, mm -hmm. So, I mean, we understand that the fans miss Samantha. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. a great, great character, mm -hmm. obviously. And you watched us all for so long. We totally get that. And... We want to respect the fans, and we want to please the fans. Yeah. We do. But, you know, we can't control everything. Yeah. So we did our best, and um, we did not want the information out. I had this fantasy that she would just show up on the screen, and everybody would be, like, so Freak excited. Out. You know what I mean? But, of course, it it's out. not the real world, yeah. Yeah. right? So it leaked out. And then I just hope that... Um, people are happy with what's there. We tried to make it make sense for the story yeah. where, like, someone might move or someone might get married and, yeah. you know, have a different life and things happen in life mm -hmm. with your girlfriends mm -hmm. where maybe they used to be there every day and now they're not. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that you're not friends and it doesn't mean that you don't connect. Yeah. So um, that's what we wanted to do with the story, and I, I just hope it works. Yeah, yeah. I know. bet it will. Yeah. It, I mean, the show Come works. On. Everybody is buzzing about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, you also recently did an interview where you talked about about aging in Hollywood. Hmm. And it made a ton of headlines. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Were, you like, Were you surprised? What? Were you surprised? I mean, I kind of knew that if I said anything, that it would be like, woo! But you're always surprised, yeah. I think. You, you never really get used to it. And I think it's odd because... We're all going through it. Yeah. And I don't mean just Hollywood. No. I mean all women, women right? Like, yeah. we're in our society. It's a very ageist society. Yeah. Yeah. We keep trying to change it. It kind of never changes, right? Mm. So there's, like, a lot of pressure. And then when you're on camera, there's even more pressure mm. yeah. because you're... You're always, you know, for us in particular with the anniversary, we're looking at our younger selves all yes. the time. And it's such a mind game of, like, you know... 
am I okay? Am I okay? Like you have to just be like, you're okay right now. It's okay that you don't look like you did yeah. when you were 35. Yeah. But it's hard. And I know it's hard for everyone. And so I felt like, well, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've been through because I felt like people might relate or learn from it or whatever. Yeah. I yes. think the part that sort of resonated with me is that people, like that things hurt. Yeah. When people say things. Yeah. yeah. They hurt, and yeah. that doesn't, and that you know, includes Hollywood actresses, but also our teenage girls. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, things online. There are real people that are reading it. 100%. You're in such a great time in your life. I feel great. Don't, yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah, I feel the same way. It's yeah. sort of like we can take those people and put them over there. And, and pay let attention them... to the things that really matter. Absolutely. Um, you know? But we do want to congratulate you on something. This that, is amazing. This, first of all, we knew how much you love elephants. Aww. You always have. Yes. But you're receiving, look at these pictures here, oh, the babies. perfect... World, World Award. Award. That's in Sweden this fall. And they're they're recognizing you for the incredible work that you do with elephants and, and conservation. conservation. It's exciting. It's so exciting. Partly because it's so hard to keep the spotlight yeah. on, on the work being done for the conservation of the world, yeah. really. Yeah. And of yeah. elephants as a species who might have been extinct had we not all realized that elephant ivory was being poached again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was so incredibly shocked that elephants were still being poached. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, the wild lands for elephants, lions, all of the wild animals that we love mm -hmm. and love to see, you know, in movies or in, mm -hmm. you know, uh, National mm -hmm. Geographic, whatever, were in danger. You work can tell when matters. you're in love. You can tell when you're in love with something. Passionate. You know it. Thank Your you. work matters, you. Kristen, yeah, and Kristen, we adore you. Thank you so much thank for coming. You. I adore you we guys. cannot wait for season two of and just like that it is you don't even need to wait uh, it is streaming right now on Max. all right